Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today's today, 22, I think. Um, losing track of the days. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, but today, we're going to be talking a little bit about some changes in the business, right? We had we had our coaching call this morning with our core clients, uh, and we talked everything around, you know, seasons in business, making tweaks, optimizations, staying uh, focused, uh, and combating overwhelm. Uh, because realistically, we're we're actively in a transition phase in our own business, right? We're changing a lot of the things about our own business, right? We've ran free Facebook groups for years and years and years. Uh, we've done, you know, over seven figures because of those groups. And here we are burning them down to put all of our energy into running a free school group. So things are changing. Things are actually evolving a bit. So I figured with that, it would be a good time to kind of run a little bit of a, a training. I did share this with our, our core clients. Uh, a visual representation of kind of what we're doing moving forward. And the real benefit of this and something to think about, especially if you guys haven't done this, I would encourage you guys to build out something similar or do an exercise that allows you to get clear on what type of business you're running and each stage that you will have to focus on inside of your business. If we're not clear on what we're doing or where we're potentially putting our energy into the business, it's going to be very hard to figure out where it's breaking uh, or where things need improvement, etc. Now, as like we've been saying for years and years at this point is we like to condense all of our stuff into four different phases, attention, which is like your short form videos, your, your, your uh, TikTok, stuff like that, uh, your indoctrination, which would be like a community, and then your conversion process off the tail end, and then potentially ascension with a monthly recurring revenue style baked in. So I do want to run over a little visual representation of this model with you guys. Now, you guys have probably seen something similar, especially if you're in our free group. You've probably seen uh, a lot of our trainings have something similar to this, but it's something that I personally wanted to do and do a little bit of exercise for us. So that way we're kind of clear on uh, where we need to put our energy in our business. Uh, so over in the yellow, we got our public content sources, right? All of Flip socials, my socials, uh, points to the community collective, the free group. This is going to be our our main uh, attention moving forward. This is where all of our energy is going to be put into, especially after May 1st, because we are closing down our free Facebook groups that we've been building for years. And then we got other people's traffic. So interviews, podcasts, audience swaps, uh, product impregnation. So example of you know, so-and-so has a product over here and they teach this piece and we teach a different piece like swapping uh, trainings with them. So that way they, their brand could get eyeballs uh, from our audience and then their audience, we get eyeballs on our brand from their audience, right? So these are all different uh, traffic sources, attention pieces. And then we got paid traffic. We're gonna be playing around with some remarketing uh, and, and some cold traffic ads in the future. So then we got the community collective opt-in, right? Where people ch come and hang out. They put in their email address and we got a one-time offer, $10 five-day uh, live intensive, which kicks off on May 6th. And then we got the $45 bump, uh, which is a, basically a, a three-step revenue roadmap, which is trainings we pulled from our $5,000 coaching program. And then we got them in a 29-day uh, email sequence, which basically redirects them back to coming and hanging out inside of the free group. And then after the sequence, they get put onto a broadcast list where we send emails every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and offers are on Fridays. And then the cool thing we actually started doing is we kind of separated it between two different things. So uh, I did get fancy and technical with this. Uh, we got, you know, when they opt in, they get put in this, this, this automation, they get run through this email sequence. And then once they actually request to this uh join the group or they join the actual group like they come in and they commit to joining the actual community uh we run them through an evergreen discount for an annual option for our membership uh, which is only found in that email sequence right it's not anywhere else if you buy this anywhere else it's it's a higher price so it's not like a placebo you have to be on that that automation or that list to actually get access to that invite and then we have an oto uh, buyer's hot list, which means if they purchased this order bump, they get put onto a pipeline. 
where we end up talking with them and kind of moving them along the spectrum of potentially becoming a buyer in our membership, which is $100 a month or $950 a year. Then we have a couple of different uh, bumps, order bumps, you know, that way we're producing a little bit more cash. You know, best time to sell an offer is when you're already selling an offer, right? Uh, then we're doing some type of personalized outreach to everybody that joins, starting a conversation with them, reaching out to them, talking to them, seeing what they're doing, where they're at, seeing if we can help them, you know, accelerate the process of them coming into our program and, and like what we can help them with. And then eventually it would be a, an ascension to our coaching program, which is $500 a month, right? So I know this seems really complex at its core, but it's really not. What I want to do is simplify this process for you and give you guys an example. This stuff over here, I don't know why my computer's lagging. The yellow stuff is content, traffic, attention, awareness, creating content, YouTube videos, TikToks, Facebook posts. Like this is the mechanism that we are doing daily, have been doing daily for years, but this is where a lot of people need to start because without this, we're not gonna be able to do anything else. And then we have this, which is our group, our community, right? Our free community, which has a bunch of free trainings in it, a bunch of tactics and strategies, but full transparency, the ultimate goal of the group is to get people into our paid community, our paid group, right? And obviously we're not doing this from a only give people enough to, you know, have to buy our thing. Like we're trying to front load the free community with as much good information as we can because if you can come in and you get a win, you can start getting consistent with content creation. You can do this. You can build some proof of concept and some confidence in yourself. You will actually be more inclined to come buy from us. So it's the content fuels the free group. The free group fuels the, the paid membership, $100 a month, $950 a year. And then the membership fuels coaching spots, right? And in the, in the to be fully transparent, the goal isn't to have a massive coaching program with 7,000 people in it. This is a very tight-knit, intimate group. We're very selective with who we actually invite over here. So we actually usually cap this around 30 people at a time. And we don't let usually any more people in at any given point because it's not meant to be this massive, massive coaching program. So that's basically our entire process and model as a whole, right? We create the, the short form videos, the attention content, the, the content on the front to grow the group. The content inside of the group is used to give more value, share more stories, perspective shifts, lessons, all the things we're doing inside of our business. And then obviously mixing in the occasional offers. Uh, we actually put offer posts out on Fridays to get people to come hang out and pay to play in some of our paid offers. And then that doesn't always end the relationship, right? Like we've been operating from a, you know, instead of how, how can we make one sale? It's like, hey, how can we make a sale? But how can we keep that client for longer? How can we continue to work with that client? So even with like the membership style offer, that's a good real-time example of that is it we get paid for prolonged periods of time for as long as people are in. They get tactics, updated strategies, coaching from us inside of the, the membership. But it's a prolonged approach to working with people and the same with our, our, our core accelerator, our coaching program, right? We've ha been having people in there for years. We've worked with them for years. We've helped them with all sorts of different things in life and business. And it's just a refined process of taking people from our public socials to a community of our own and then cherry picking the people that are probably the best fit to come hang out with us in some of our paid opportunities. Now, what does this have to do with you guys watching this video? I would highly encourage you guys to map out your own business. Like what are you actively doing on a daily basis? Uh, so that way you can kind of see where things are working, where they're breaking, where you need to put energy. And obviously the, the least amount of parts that you can have in the beginning, the better, right? Um, realistically, if you already have a social media account, you can potentially could build a group and a potential one mechanism to sell, then that's kind of all you need to focus on for probably the next six months. Right, get better at creating content, get better at writing content, maybe in your group, and get and talk to more people and extend invitations for them to buy your thing. And the thing to remember is this entire game is cause and effect. So it's like you can't post one time and, and wonder why you're not making sales. It's an accumulative game. 
if you want more sales, you need to create more content. If you want more opportunities to make sales, you need to talk to more people. If you want actual more transactions, you probably need to invite more people. So it's like, it's a, 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 a whole on machine. It's not just like you post once and sales happen or, Hey, I set up my group. Why am I not making sales? Like if you set up your group, then we need to grow the group. And then, we, and then you need to put energy into taking people from the group and taking them to pay clients. So what we actually tell all of our group G students is like in the earlier stages of your business, get a few things in your group, get some assets, some trainings inside of your community, and then go outside externally and preach and talk about everything that you just put in your group and send people back to your community. Because eventually your business will get to a point where you can just put your energy, the majority of your energy into running your community and ascending people into your paid products. But in the beginning, it's going to be a lot of attention, awareness, getting influx of people into the group. All right. So if you look at it in those three different buckets, right, we have you need the attention and then you need the people in your group and then you need to sell. Right. So it's it's you have to go down the line because if you don't create the attention and the awareness via the content creation, you're not going to have the opportunity to grow the group and you're not going to even have the ability to start making offers to people. So just a little quick you know, ramble for you guys, tangent. Uh, if you haven't, definitely get clear on your actual business structure, how you're running, what you're doing. Clarity on this and commit to following it for probably the next six months if you actually want to make magic happen online. And that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you tomorrow.